Hey folks, Frank Evans here, and uh, we're going to learn Fly Around My Pretty Little Miss. I first heard this song by the Skillet Lickers, but it's kind of one of the jam standards, and it's a great one to have in your repertoire because it's, uh, it's a really fun one to play on the banjo, and uh, it often gets called at these jam sessions. If you guys want the tablature, just look in the comments below. I put a link to my website. You can download it there. So I am in double C tuning, and I've got my capo at the second fret and my fifth string at the seventh fret, so that puts me into D, the key of D, and that's where you most commonly play this song. Uh, usually on the fiddle it's played in the key of D, so um, that's where I'm going to be teaching it today. And the nice thing about this is that the right hand's fairly simple. It's just going to be doing the regular claw hammer stroke the entire time. So what I mean by that is this bum ditty it's also known as, where we strike a note, the second string for this example, and then we strum, and our fifth uh, string gets picked up by the thumb. So that's going to be the right hand technique that uh, happens throughout the whole song, and then the left hand technique is going to be kind of doing a little bit of the heavy lifting with some hammer-ons and some pull-offs and stuff like that, and we'll, we'll get there eventually. Okay, so we're going to start this A part with a pull-off from the second fret of the first string, and that's going to sound like this. So it's a pull-off followed by the rest of the claw hammer strum. That sounds like... Not so bad. And we're going to follow that up with one strike on the second string. So it's going to sound like this. Just the open second string. One more time. We're then going to follow that with a pull-off from the second fret of the third string, and we're going to land on the fourth fret of the fourth string. So we go pull off from the second fret of the third string, fourth fret of the fourth string. So if we put those two little bits together, it sounds like this. Not so bad. Um, we're then going to be doing a regular claw hammer strum on the open third string followed by a hammer-on this time to the second fret of the third string. So that's open, hammer-on, and we're going to finish this first half of the A part with a slide. So we slide from second to fourth fret on the second string. And what's going to happen is we're going to strike that note, we're going to slide, and then follow the strum and the fifth string. So it'll sound like this. We get this really nice, love that chord. So we're going to do that slide and follow that with one strike at the fourth fret of the uh, second string. So we stay there. So that second half of the A part, um, starting from the open third string, sounds like this. Perfect. Let's play what we have so far. So it sounds like this. So continuing on, um, we're actually going to be recycling a lot of the same information that we already learned in the first half of the A part. So let's just kind of follow with what we have so far. We start with that pull off again at the second fret uh, from the first string. Open second string. Pull off from the second fret of the third string. Fourth fret of the fourth string. So that's all the same. And this is where it's going to change. We're going to jump to the second fret of the third string. One claw hammer strum there, then up to the fourth fret of the third string, and we're going to finish this whole A section with two strums on the open second string. So let's just do that ending bit, starting from the second fret of the third string, goes. Bum. 
not so bad, it's pretty easy. So let's try playing the whole A part. And I should mention that we're gonna play both sections twice. So this is just one time through the A part, but when we're in a jam, we're gonna repeat it. Um, so let's start from the very top, starting from that pull off on the second fret of the first string. If you guys like this video, please hit subscribe and a thumbs up, it really helps. And uh, there's lots of other Clawhammer lessons on my channel, so make sure to check out all those instructional videos. Um, let's dive right into the B part now. So the B part starts with a slide from the second to the fifth fret on the first string. And that's going to sound like this. So again, similar to the slide in the first part, we'd slide, then follow it with the strum in the fifth string. And we're going to strike that fifth uh, fret of the first string one more time. So that opening line sounds like this. We're then going to shift up to the seventh fret and play that twice. We then do the slide again, same slide from second to fifth fret. This time we're going to play the open first string twice. So let's try playing that much so far, starting with the slide. Nice. Moving on, we do the same bit as the first part of the B part. So we're going to do that slide again. So we slide from second to five on the first string. Play the seventh fret twice. And the way we're going to end this whole B part is we're going to actually recycle the same ending as the A part. So we jump all the way down to the second fret of the third string. Play that once. Move to the 4th fret of the 3rd string, and 2 strums in the open 2nd. So let's try playing that whole B part, starting with the slide, 3, 4. Not so bad. And just like the A part, that's going to be played twice as well. So make sure when you're in the jam session that you're going to play both sections twice. Let's try playing both A and B sections together now. One and two and three and four and...
Thanks so much for watching. If you guys like this, then check out the rest of the videos on my channel, and I'll see you back next time.